Disclaim the topic Indian Railway Works Contract Management has been divided into multiple videos to bring in simplicity and to enable the audience to enjoy learning. The text and data that are being displayed here are for guidance only. For actual practice, references should be made to the original quotes, manuals, circulars and letters. The depiction made here are for introducing the system and are subject to additions, alterations and modifications to establish control of authority and protection of data access. Welcome to the video. This is the seventh video in IRWCMS. In this video, we will be discussing about the measurements, how to take the measurements and overview of measurements in works contracts. Measurements, measurements in or in contract works and overview. The aim of this video, the aim of this video is to familiarize the user to have a general awareness on measurements, types of measurements, certifications for measurements, measurements module in IRWCMS, measurements process flow in IRWCMS. Indian Railway Engineering Code has issued a number of guidelines with reference to the measurements in works contracts. Regarding units for measurements, we need to refer the para 739. For units of rate, we need to refer to the para 740. And guidelines for measurements are given in para 1313 to 1315. Similar to the Indian Railway Engineering Code, General Conditions of Contract GCC White Part 2 from paragraphs 44 to 46 has guidelines for measurements. We will discuss about the guidelines given in GCC in the form of a question answer. First question would be, will be when to take measurements. Measurements will be taken of the work in progress from time to time. The interval for the time interval for measurements may be decided by engineer. Date and time of measurements should be communicated to the contractor. So this answers the question when to take measurements. Who will take measurements? If measurements are recorded departmentally, measurements are taken by engineer or engineer's representative. Next is measurement of works. Measurements should be recorded in the official measurement book. Contractor shall be present at the site for taking measurements. Measurements shall be signed by the engineer or the engineer's representative and the contractor. Whatever signature that is being made by engineer or engineer's representative and the contractor is to acknowledge the acceptance of accuracy of the measurements. What to do if the contractor is absent on the day of measurement at site? No issues, we can carry out the, carry out the measurements. Work shall be measured even in the absence of the contractor. Such measurements are binding upon the contractor whether he has signed or not. But still contractor can raise his objections. Contractor can raise objections on the measurements to engineer or engineer's representative within 7 days from the date of measurement. This is a vital piece of information. If the contractor has any objections over recorded measurements, he has to represent it to engineer within the within seven days from the date of measurement. And engineer may order for the remeasurement. How to carry out remeasurement of the works done? The date and time of remeasurement shall be advised to the contractor. If the contractor is absent on the day of remeasurements, again we need not wait for him. We can take the measurements. Measurements shall be taken in, the, in his absence. Such measurements shall be binding on the contractor. Thereafter, no claim on remeasurement will be entertained. If any of the objection raised by the contractor is found incorrect during the remeasurements, then the contractor shall be liable to pay the actual expense incurred in remeasurements. Coming to the type of measurements, normally we make record measurements, on account measurements, and final measurements. The flow of measurement work or the flow in measurement book will be like we will make a record measurement then there might be on account measurements and finally after completion of works we will be giving final measurements. Okay, Coming to record measurements we used to write the 10 norms that is in the first page of the M book there will be 10 items to be written. What are the 10 items to be written will be listed that is name of work, name of contractor, date of commencement, date of completion etc. So first those abstract items will be written. After that, we will write the measurements. After writing the item number, name and all, we will write the measurements. Then we will affix our signature. Then we will make some certification, certified that no railway material has been issued. So this is the same, this is the flow of work in uh, recording the measurements in physical measurement books. In EMB also, the same procedure will be happening through the modules, through various menus. So, now we will discuss about record measurements, on account measurements and final measurements. Record measurements. Measurements to be recorded from time to time of all works. Whenever 
a piece of work has been completed uh, satisfactorily if it qualifies for payment it can be measured and it can be recorded in the measurement books and hidden measurements that is those measurements which are beyond reach or that may be getting hidden beneath the ground level for example foundation etc to be should be measured and those measurements should be recorded and it needs to be submitted for technical check by addition, assistant divisional engineer and on account measurements in on account measurements we will add up all those measurements which are already recorded and if they qualify for payment those will be added to the on account bills that is we used to make it as cc1 cc2 that is contract certificate 1 contract certificate 2 etc in that we will add the previous record measurements as well as if there are any visible measurements available now we will measure that also and we will add up so on account measurements based on the request by contractor and visible measurements are added in addition to recorded measurements final measurements all recorded and paid measurements up to date will be tallied all the works completed satisfactorily are taken that is after the completion of entire quantity in the agreement quantity then certifications as we said earlier we will be writing those 10 lines abstract then we will be giving the measurements after that we will be giving certifications there are 12 certifications that are made as standard certifications in irw cms module some may be applicable in some railways in certain railways these may not be applicable and there may be beyond these 12 there may be certain other certifications that are in practice in some railways for that they have a last option that is 13th any other in that we can enter our, uh, our railways uh, pattern of making certifications so these 12 certifications are available then the list of certifications the list of certifications are listed in indian railway engineering code as well as through railway boards letter from time to time it is being issued and listed in irwcms measurements module this is what we had seen there are 12 standard condition uh, certifications and there are there is a 13th option where we can enter our own certification then measurements in irwcms module measurements module in measurements module we have normal contract as well as zonal contract now we will see about normal contract in normal contract first we have to inform contractor for measurement then we have to enter the basic measurement details in the module then we have to initiate the measurements initiation of measurement then review by site engineer forward to engineer's representative action by engineer's representative action by engineer out of this whichever has been highlighted in red color will be carried out by the SSE or JE these four are the most important ones for recording the measurements in IRWCMS module we'll see about them one by one first we have to inform the contractor for measurement date time and type of measurement that is record measurement or on account measurement or final measurement we have to intimate the contractor about the about when we are going to make, take these measurements then after uh, informing after taking the measurements then we come to the computer then we enter the measurements measurement we have to enter the measurement details for that there are basic some basic activities to be carried out enter basic measurement details in that menu we will be asked to assign measurement details and assign measurement type against each item so assign measurement details situation of work commencement date completion date and assign measurement type against each item assign measurement type against each item this is new to us here they are asking us to select whether it is a volumetric measurement or area measurement or a linear measurement we have to select whichever is applicable for each item say for example in the agreement schedule there are 100 items even for all these 100 items we have to feed these uh, we have to select the measurement type that is whether it is a linear measurement or area measurement or volume measurement if you don't select these things what will happen then by default it will be general lbh so if, even if we don't assign it still we have options for entering the measurements then initiation of measurement we have already informed the contractor we have entered the basic measurement details now we are going to initiate the measurements that is we are going to make record measurement so in record measurement we have to select the items from the schedule say there are 100 items in the agreement schedule but now only 20 items qualify for payment or only 20 items have been completed so for those 20 items have to be selected from the agreement schedule and it has to be added un under this record measurement so we will select those 20 items we will enter it then those items will be added quantities will not be added then after that we have to enter the measurements for me entering the measurements we have particulars column 
then numbers column that is uh, 1 into 1 into 1 like that we'll be mentioning it there then we have l b and h length breadth and height also we have a we have an option for entering the coefficients we we used to have these coefficients for cement painting etc then we need to upload the documents while uploading the documents we may have to have the scanned copies of these documents that is scanned copies of all the test certificates scanned copies of the nine registers scan copy of attendance register of graduate engineer that is contract as graduate engineer then scan the copy of dba dbr reference of released material accounts scan the copy of standard measurement books scan the copies of bills like jcb running as etc and scan the copy of completion drawing up to the current cc also so now we have done all these things then we will have to add our certification that is we had already 12, 12 standard certifications then there was an option to give our own certification whichever is in vogue in whichever is in practice in our railway so in that portion we can enter the recovery for water charges say in northern railway there is a practice of recovering one percent of the rate for each item for water charges that is like in uh, analysis of rates for ussor we had allowed for one percent of the rate for each item for water charges so that is being recovered in certain railways they used to measure the water using water meters using flow meters then they will fix a charge for those water being supplied to these contractors and that will be recovered whichever is in practice in your railway it can be adopted then recovery is towards penalty for non-engagement of engineering graduate or diploma engineer this also can be mentioned in that certification and if there are any other recoveries we can mention in that mention those in those in that column then after doing all these things we have to we can save it as a draft or we can confirm it and generate it as a pdf once we confirm it then we cannot make any changes to the recorded measurements so now i assume that i have completely i have clearly mentioned i have clearly recorded all those measurements so i will hit the confirm and generate pdf button it will generate a pdf copy of the recorded measurements then i will have to sign and forward it to the contractor then the contractor will sign it and he'll send it back to the site engineer that is to SSC or JE. Once again, SSC or JE has to forward it to the engineer's representative that is to assistant divisional engineer for technical check. So this is how the work will happen. We will make the record measurements. Then we will send it to the contractor for his signature. Once he sends it back, we will send it to ADE sir for his technical check and it will be recorded. So already we have seen the IRWCMS homepage. So this is how it will look like. We have to go into the measurements module, select normal contract. From there we will go into, we will have all these options. Inform contractor for measurement, enter basic measurement details, initiation of measurement, review by site engineer, forward to engineer's representative, action by engineer's representative, then finally action by engineer. So this is an enlarged view. So we have seen First, we have to inform contractor for measurement, enter the basic measurement details in the module. Then we have to initiate measurement, that is initiation of measurement and feed the measurements, forward it to the contractor for signature and acceptance. Then once again, we have to forward it to engineer's representative for technical check. So we have achieved our aim. The aim of this video was to have a general view on the measurements, type of measurements, certifications for measurements, measurements module IRWCMS, measurement process flow in IRWCMS. Save water, every drop counts. Suggestions are always welcome. Suggestions may be sent to a.s.ramchenai at the rate of gmail.com. Thank you.